With Wally, you can now create ISR invoices very easily. Just use our SDK or the available plugins for the different shopping carts. The integration is fully seamless in your shop. After the client purchased a product or service, he will receive an invoice containing an ISR payment slip via email. This document could also be printed directly over the cloud using Google Cloud Print. In the following video, we are going to show you how the setup including automatic reconciliation works. The Orange In Payment Slip, or shortly ISR Payment, is a Swiss-specific payment scheme that allows your clients to pay their invoices with a unique reference number. This allows the reconciliation of this kind of payment in a fast way. With the migration of the Swiss banks to the new ISO format, there are some major changes in the communication between merchants and banks. The V11 files are now replaced by XML files. We are able to process the following file formats. In terms of ISR products, you are able to process the following types with the help of the application. If you own a bank account at the bank, seated in Switzerland, you will be offered to use ISR payments. You have to get in touch with the account manager to apply for the ISR participant number and the additional details. There is a difference between ISR with POS Finance and B ISR with any other bank. To use ISR payments with POS Finance, you need to sign up for a participant number in your account with your account manager. When you sign up for the participant number and the ISR scheme, make sure to select the new ISO format. You can also process ISR payments through your bank. In this case, the scheme is called BISR. In the BISR scheme, you have to provide the payment for information where you provide information about your bank. In comparison to the ISR payments, you receive the participant number from your bank. The structure of the reference number is different from the ISR scheme. The first six digits of the ISR prefix identify the merchant's bank account. The remaining 20 digits can be filled by the merchant. In addition to that, you are able to receive the payment reports via Pulse Finance file delivery service. This allows you to receive the payments automatically and reconcile them directly. When you like to receive the files in your e-banking instead, you just need to upload them manually. Before you can start with the configuration of the ISR processor, you have to activate the feature ISR processor in your space. As soon as the merchant has signed up for ISR, we can start to configure the processor and the connector. First, we have to create a connector. Search here for the ISR processor. In the configuration of the ISR processor, there are multiple settings you need to check. These are the most important ones. When you are printing the payment slips and send them to your customers, you need to make sure that the OCR information on the slip is within the acceptance range. If it's not, you might be charged with additional costs when your customer has paid at the counter. Once the processor has been created, you can continue with the configuration of the connector. There are two different kinds of connectors you can choose from. The ISR bank transfer is used for prepayment scenarios where you create an invoice document but your customer has to pay first using the ISR slip. When the money has arrived and could be reconciled, the transaction will switch into the fulfill state for further processing. The ISR invoice is the standard process where you send the invoice that has to be paid in a specific term to your customer. You can configure additional settings in the connector. There is more information and documentation in the configuration directly. You can configure everything about the reports and the processing in your space. ISR reports can be uploaded manually in the sections reports. You are able to upload V11 and the ISO files. Once the upload is finished, the reports will be scheduled for processing, which can take some time. In case you want to download, the original reports again, you can do that by simply opening and downloading a report in the report list. The transaction reports in the report files from the bank are available in the section Transaction Records. 
The matching of open invoices happens automatically based on the reference number. However, in certain cases the matching doesn't work and the items will be marked as unresolved. This will trigger a manual task automatically. Unresolved items appear mainly in these two occasions. First, the reference number cannot be found in your transaction list. Or second, the client reuses the reference number twice for an invoice that is paid already. As soon as the invoice could be matched, the transaction will be marked as paid and the system creates a payment receipt automatically. The fetching of transaction reports can be automated as well. However, it is available for FDS with POS Finance only at this moment, but will be available for other banks soon. To set up the automated fetching, you have to apply for an FDS account with your account manager first. Once the account has been set up, you'll be informed by POS Finance. You can now navigate to the fetching configuration in your account. Here you can create your fetching configuration using POS Finance file delivery service. Type your username that was assigned to you by POS Finance. After you stored the configuration, you are able to download the public key which is used for the communication with POS Finance. You can download the public key here and send it to fds.posfinance.ch. As soon as the setup is completed at POS Finance, the fetching of the records will start automatically.